Alright, if you're watching this video, it's probably because you think that having a reduced screen time will help you increase focus. I'm not just going to tell you to set a time limit for your apps or get a YouTube blocker. I think we've all tried that. And if you're like me, you've probably developed the habit of just giving yourself more time. So with the exception of a few days due to editing these YouTube videos, my screen time has gone from 3 to 6 hours a day to less than 30 minutes. And I'm going to share with you the 4 things that got my screen time from 3 to 6 hours to being less than 30 minutes a day. Starting off with number 1, which is use series to open apps. The main problem I had was whenever I had to open my phone to jot something down in my notes quickly or set a reminder, I would always get distracted by my Snapchat notifications or my Instagram notifications and I would end up spending an extra 30 minutes to an hour on my phone. And the way I bypassed this was by using Siri to open apps. Now what I mean by this is say you need to use notes or something. Go, hey Siri, open notes and then unlock your phone and it will take you directly to that app and then power off your phone after. This will save you a full three Three to six hours per day from being distracted by your notifications and I promise you this is one of the most important tips you can do whenever you need to use an app on your phone even if you want to use these instant gratification apps like Instagram always use Siri to get there but you can still get distracted this way because say you close your notes and then you see your notifications and then you end up answering them all so that's why you need to do step number two which is keep your phone in a separate room throughout most of the day even if you're someone who doesn't easily get distracted by your phone if your phone is there it's because you get distracted with it. Otherwise, why would you have your phone in the same area as you for most of the day if you don't get distracted by it? So stop lying to yourself. Yes, okay, no matter who you are, you probably get distracted by your phone. So put it in a separate room for most of the day. And that will at least save every single person one to two hours of valuable time. If you're worried people need to contact you, just tell them to contact you on email or something instead. But your phone is too distracting. Having your phone in the same presence as you when you were trying to get work done or just even throughout your day when you're trying to spend time with your family is too much. Step number three is have a routine. Now I've made a video on how to have a routine. It will be in the info card above, but having a routine leaves less time for you to get distracted. When you know what you're going to do in the day and when you have an idea of what tasks you're going to do and in which order you're also going to do them, there's a high, high chance you'll get into a workflow state and forget you even have a phone. And trust me, this happens. Now the fourth and final step is to become slightly obsessed with seeing the number below. When I really started to see progress with my screen time going down, it was when I started to become obsessed with seeing the number be lower and lower. And don't become fully obsessed, but just become slightly obsessed with seeing the number low. Because when you want the number to be low and you're slightly obsessed with it, you're going to be thinking in the day like, let me not go on my phone because I want that number to be lower. And this is what really skyrockets your progress with reducing screen time. So now you know how to spend less than 30 minutes a day on your phone. And I promise you, if you implement these steps, your screen time will go from whatever it is right now to at the bare minimum three hours less. Now, just doing these steps alone will give you some incredible progress, but if you want to completely 180 your life, I recommend you do what's called a dopamine detox, and I'll leave a link to the full guide I've made on dopamine detoxing in the description. Be a doer, not a thinker. See ya.